Hello, it me, a wild rosen, what just appeared, and we are back tonight with SCP Containment Breach, the Unity Edition. Now I'm basically, I took a little bit of a breather, but I am basically just continuing straight on from last time. So I, I'm not that untensed. I have, I, I did not probably take enough time to calm myself down from 106. Scaring the absolute shit out of me, but it's good to know there's a, you know, I, I think I knew there was a Tesla gate, so I could have just gone this way the whole time and I would have been fine. Anyway, uh, good to know that's there for when we deal with 106. Through we go. And welcome back. Um, sorry, as I said, still a little bit frazzled. This game has that effect on me and most others. Good. Yes, here we are. Okay, so last time we got this key card. And let's take a moment to enjoy our nice office, relax, and security office. So I I believe, I did not go back and check, apologies, I, I didn't look, but I believe we're doing this for the iPods. The EYE PODS, not the literal Apple products that I do not have. What are you? Security memo, one of two, let's, that is annoying. I'm going to go over here. Actually, I'm going to go into a place where I... Can I... Thank you. I'm going to go over here, because I want to read that, but I don't want to make... Wait, Codex. Uh, shit. This, I assume? It must be. Just play his text. To Jennifer... <coughs> to Jennifer Davis, CRO, and Miles Gallus, CSO. Bi-weekly rotation of elevated security credentials. This memo contains a list of personnel who are to receive the second set of revolving security credentials for this week. Please ensure your staff receive these credentials immediately and commit them to memory. The list is as follows. John Reed, Admin, Records. Harold Lark, Doctor. Containment Chamber for SCP Redacted. Lloyd Foley, Agent. Secure Storage, SL3-A. Jocelyn Carson, Chief Security Station. Chief <coughs> Security Station, CH4-B. From the desk of Admin Sam Grosh. Grosh? Grosh. Chief... No, whatever. It's not important. I actually wasted everybody's time. I apologize. Don't make the rumbles. Please don't make the rumbles. I cannot deal with more... Oh my god, my chair is so off-center. I am such a... Hello. <gasps> SCP-131 key. Okay. So, so quick save. Right now. Okay. So we're a little bit farther. Unlock Tesla office? Un oh! Yes! Yes! Yeah, don't wait. No, no, no. Cancel. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Leave the Tesla gates on because as annoying as those can be to cross. Okay. Okay. So now I can go into every little Tesla gate area thing, right? That's what that should mean. But what was it I needed up? <gasps> oh! 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 <laughs> 131. That's the. That's the, um. Yeah, so 131. Yeah, that's the iPods. Okay, so now I can now get into there. Oh, wonderful. Oh, good. Oh, happy day. Oh, oh, joy. Oh, happiness. But fuck it, close. Okay, so. Okay, that's fine. Guys, guys, I'm stupid. I'm sorry. I apologize, but I'm proud of you guys for doing so great. I'm sure that only startled a couple of you, and only mildly. Yes. Large clockwork device, weighing several tons, covering an area of 18 square meters, because it was screws, bolts, pulleys, gears, springs, and other clockwork. Two large booths are connected via copper tubes. The main body of SCP-914, labeled intake and output with a copper panel with a large knob and a small arrow attached between them. Good! Yes! Good! Oh, I didn't actually need to read that fast. It was going to wait for me. Ha! Uh, I'm dumb. All right, so... 173... 173! Hello? No? Alright. 173... But anyway, that was really good what we just did there. We did a lot. So not only do we now have... Can I go through this now? No? Okay, that's fine. So, yes. Not only... Not only do we now have... Close this door, please. Oh, sweet fuck. Close the door. Uh, not only do we now have the key to get into the little iPod things... We also, what? 
We also can now enter these rooms, which is great. Large bandage. Fuck yeah. Let's go. We're... Don't do that. Security memo. Too. I, I mean, I read the last one, so I might as well read this one too. Hmm. Let's play test. This memo contains a list of personnel who receive a second set of revolving chips. Who cares? Okay, it's the same thing as last time. It's just the the second one. It this does not matter. Um, open pools. Open says a me. I cannot see. I wish I do. I have a flashlight. Do I? I don't have a flashlight. Um, just make real sure that we don't. Okay. Nothing. Nothing. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's cool. Everything's cool. We're chill. Oh, I could have. All right, fuck. I could have lightsed at any point. That was just me accidentally closing a thing. Okay. And on we go. So we're going to head... Yep, that's fine. Don't. No. 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 a weird pose. I don't... Okay. I... Did I... Was I protected by something? Is that why Cuck Monster was on the ground and 173, like, disappeared? <sighs> I should wear... I don't have a heart rate monitor, but if I had one and I had, like, the money to actually purchase one, because that shit expensive, and I don't have that kind of income... I have a good income, but I don't have that good of an income. Um, God, it would be fun to wear during one of these, though. I'm sure my heart is beating at like a billion miles a minute. Okay, it's fine. It's, it's um, it's 106. Oh God! In no, wait! I didn't see you! I didn't see you! I didn't see you! I didn't see him! 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 I didn't get to close the gate either. Oh God! Uh, through. get me get me behind another door i don't care just get me not there okay because i did not see you 173 and that is the worst large bandage yay is that what all these have just large bandages because that's cool okay yeah that's why i do not want to turn the tesla gates off because if i do then what do i do about him just run back to the core room every single security memo to i already have that don't i yeah so, yeah, if, if I turned off the Tesla gates, what would I do about that guy other than running back to the core room every single time? Is there... Guys, I need you to do something for me. Run out there and tell me if there is a Sledgehammer SCP. Because if there is, I need it put in the game so we can kill Cuck Monster. Okay, and then jokes immediately end as soon as 173 shows up and I get scared. Okay. I wish I could open those doors. I wanted to wait for my blink as well. I don't know why. It's just kind of instinctual. Okay, so there should be another large bandage. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, guys. I'm allergic to cock monster. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Apologies. Ugh. You know, just just all that cock, really, really pisses me off. Um, so this is all kind of irrelevant, except for the large bandage, which don't get me wrong, that's pretty useful. So whatever. I just wish I could open those. Hang on, is is there a way? These are doors, right? What does that say? There has to be a way to. Maybe that was back in the security office, and I just didn't see it or something. Whatever, though. Let's save real quick. Glad they didn't fuck me over. And onwards we go. Yay, back in the core. Okay, we can get iPods, right? Right, mom? I can have iPods for Christmas, mom, right? Right, right mom? Slow. And down. Those I really want. They're so cute. They're so sweet. They're so adorable. I, I'm probably going to be disappointed with what they actually do. But, you know, then again, 
I kind of thought I was going to be disappointed with Year B Dragons too, just a little bit, but I was not. I was not. That was so lovely. 173. No, fuck 173. 650. I, I don't remember what 650 is. Alright. <clears throat> I hope I don't lose my voice from that. SL2A, not important. We saw something about SL3A, I want to say. Something like that on one of the security memos, but not important. Um, staff office says 131. Good. Oh, yeah, this is just the wonderful hall. This is just the lovely hall where everything's great. Except that there were no key cards in the staff offices. There we go. All right. Straight in. What's with the ominous music? Why, why, why that? Don't do that. Okay. Anyway, that was weird. I don't, I don't like when it do that at all. So large bandages. Yeah, that's all that's in here. It's just that. Oh, inventory full. Um, then take a little bandage. You know, you know, you're picking up what I'm putting down. You sniffing what I'm stepping in. And go. Hello, Reginald, my friend. My friend. Everything down this particular wing is wonderful. Checking in here for posterity's sake, even though I know there's probably nothing. It's going to be the one time I don't look in one of these that there's going to be something amazing. Um, I will also drop a bandage, and I will pick up the big bandage. God, I wish I'd opened those doors. There's a way. I, I'm racked now with, like, concern. Sorry, I thought I heard something. I am now racked with... I'm going to close this. I, you know what? I don't want to close the way to here, B-Dragons. I want to leave that open for all time. Oh, it was so fast to get here. <gasps> Hello. Hi, lovelies. Hello. How are you? You're so cute. Okay. Hello. Oh. 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 I want you. Oh. What do you mean? Oh. Come on. Wait, just one? Oh, am I? Hello. Oh, no. Only one at a time. I'm sorry. Oh, both. Yeah? Oh, good. <clears throat> okay. Come on. I gotta be careful about closing doors behind me now because I don't want to trap them behind them. Oh. What's up? Oh, they are. Oh, they are. Oh. Oh, no. But wait. No, come. So soon? What if I get away? What if I go back? Oh no. Oh no. I just got you. We only knew one another such a short time. 131? Let's go back. <clears throat> Fuck you, cock monster. Get out of there. Yeah, they're just keeping him there. <clears throat> How long does that last? God, that's sad. I just kind of wanted buddies, you know? I was really hoping... 
I mean, I knew that's what they did. Like, that's what their document said, and that was awesome that they do that, you know? What I thought would happen was that maybe they would follow me, and as I go, they watch it, and they just kind of stick with me. Granted, that might have gotten really annoying. Fuck, I, I want them back. Damn it. Oh well. I thought that maybe they would, um, <clears throat> they would just follow me and stare at him only when he's right there by me. And then otherwise just stick with me. Maybe not neutralizing the threat, but making it less, um, you know. Whatever. Uh, staff offices. In we go. That's very sad. But archival storage, SL1A, was that what it was? SL1A? I, I guess it'll be interesting to see when he shows back up again. Really? Storage. Oh, I don't want to go here yet. Alright, hello. Yeah. Um. Damn it. Fuck. Okay, so I need I need a Tesla gate. Here, maybe? No? We'll see. I'm gonna leave some of these doors open on my way. Ah! Fuck. Alright, fine. Back I go. This is fine. This is fine. I'll just go back. I'm... Fuck. It didn't take... Damn it. I lost 131 so fast for that. Shit. Let's go to a different one. We'll just know that we have not been to this yet. Yeah. Fuck. He came back so fast. I mean, it was still worth it to go get them, but... You know, it's, it's sad that that's all that that amounted to. Because they were so cute and I wanted them so much. But it's okay. It's fine. I'm still proud of them. They still did good. You know, did they did they did everything they could. They're good things. Well, I guess that's all that's left here, so let's just we'll just continue on here. Fuck you, car monster. Archival storage first. All right, well, that's very sad. I'll just close these doors and... What are you? Under construction, please. Okay, so this is, I would assume, an actual... Wait, what? Wait, what? Okay. What? What do you mean? Okay. What? That's not where I... Th what? What do you mean? What do you mean, up or down? Huh? Okay, no down. Up? That's not where I thought this was going to go, but... Oh, this is immediately not good. Oh. Duck. Pick up document. Let's pick up the document. I believe that we already had this. Document to the ducks. Yes. Duck applier. Disco duck. X-ray duck. The ducks. Oh, more. More on ducks. Hello. Saxophone duck. Object appears to be a duck holding a small saxophone, which has been observed to play at random intervals, emitting a single drawn-out note followed by a series of melodically unrelated notes. Sounds produced by the duck are significantly shriller than those produced by a traditional saxophone. Ghost duck. 
objects has appearance of a duck wearing a sheet, similar to a simplistic Halloween ghost costume. Duck has been observed to float five to seven centimeters above solid and liquid surfaces. Interesting. Attempt to weigh the object down result in duck phasing through solid materials. Hmm. Flamingo duck. Duck description. There does not appear to be anything anomalous about this duck. Notes. Object influences the perceptions of any subject holding it and any person speaking to the effective subjects. Object, in fact, appears to be a flamingo? What? What are you... Oh, okay, whatever. Boop, boop. Um, five, five, three, and oh god, I don't want object class safe, object class safe, okay. SCP-983 is a vintage mechanical monkey with a faded date looking at the bottom of the left foot placing, I am going to actually switch this back over to, there we go, placing its manufacture at some point in the 1940s by an unknown person or company. Is it Martin Carter in dark or whatever the hell? The monkey is dressed in the remains of what used to be a popular vest design for circus ringmasters. The monkey's left hand, there on the monk in the monkey's left hand, there's a slightly tarnished brass bell. In the right hand, the monkey holds a small brass striking rod. The monkey is capable of emitting speech and sound, although examinations of the object reveal no spe no seams, screws, or openings that would indicate a method of disassembly. SCP-983 is completely harmless and inert under most circumstances and may be handled with special precautions so long as the handler is not experiencing the 24 hour period considering considered the anniversary of his birth so okay once scp 983 physically comes into contact with an individual on their birthday it will spring to life do a single backflip and raise its bell and sing a simple song a ring ding 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 it's your birthday the single verse will be followed by the monkey striking its bell producing a tone that varies in pitch from quite high to rather low SCP-983 will sing this song once every three to four seconds, pausing only to ring its bell until the new owner has died or met the sing-along requirements. What? Each verse sung by SCP-983 appears to age the owner of the item by what is estimated at one year. By singing along with SCP-983, the owner may deactivate the monkey, which, once done successfully, results in a triumphant declaration of birthday from SCP-983 at which time it will ring its bell once and produce a single gumdrop style candy from the bell what does the candy do okay and then five five three wait is that wait five five three is that the crystal shit that kills you SCP-553 are kept in an 8 meter by 17 meter by 5 meter steel wall room whose interior replicates conditions in their original cave and originating cave system. Native cave flora and fauna are to be maintained in sufficient quantities to provide the appropriate nutritional needs of SCP-553. Multiple infrared and night vision cameras have been installed in order to provide full coverage of the interior as well as numerous passive acoustic sensors. Description. SCP-553 is a colony of approximately... 140,000 winged organisms superficially resembling butterflies kept in that sort. Don't take the cameras. Are you still after me? That's the real question. That hurt. That hurt quite a lot. Um, I'm going to wait for a minute, see if that respawns. So it actually gives me time to finish reading this. Whoops. Wait. Hang on. Come back. 553. Five, Display his text. Oh, shitloads of butterflies that possess a silicon-based biochemistry and comprise primarily of calcium and silicate compounds. The body of a member of the species is mostly calcite, with some of its it was some of the internal organs composed of a mineral similar to quartz, with a piezoelectric pro with piezoelectric properties. Piezoelectric? I don't know how to say that word. The average observed wingspan of an adult is 2.3 centimeters, so they're quite small. When any av adult instance of SCP-553 signifies Sugnuffers. Significant damage. It produces a unique sonar signature which alerts all other nearby adults to the presence of danger. Adults will sur swarm the perceived source of danger and proceed to attack it by attempting to slice it with their wings. Okay, yes, I do know what this is. Uh, SCP, or the wings of SCP-553 members have an average thickness of 5 millimeters where they attach to the body and taper rapidly 
to an average thickness of 0.05 millimeters with sharp be beveled edges. Jesus, I can't, I can't even. And testing, individual lacer lacerations as deep as one centimeter have been measured. However, deeper lacerations usually result in some portion of the wing structure breaking off in the infected, inflicted wound. These fragments typically continue to fracture in the wound due to mechanical stresses. The circulatory fluid of SCP-553 reacts with most carbon-based tissues in a necrotizing fashion, resulting in significant post-traumatic infections. Oh, shit. That's very bad. Bye, cock monster. Okay. <clears throat> so, butterflies. Leave them alone. Hello, can I have your body armor, please? Hello, ghost duck. What are you? 983. Monkey. Okay, is it my birthday? I saved. So let's find out if it's my birthday. Wait, what? Monkey, I think. Nothing. I'll take, I'll take, and I'll take. Oh, dear God. How do oh god. Yep. Happy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the birth. A ding. Yay! Ding ding ding. Okay. Okay. Um, goodbye. Goodbye. Right. For, for a second there, I thought that was going to play, um... What's the song? What's the song's name? Ah! Uh, Careless Whisper. I thought it was going to go to Careless Whisper, which would have been awesome. Wait, hello. Can I... Can I do this? No? Okay, that's fine. Um, anyway. Puck Monster, I hate you so much. I'm not even going to dignify you with being looked at. So that monkey, creepy as fuck. But actually, if I recall about that SCP, I think that it... Alright, what are you? Um, I picked up a thing on you, but... This is the candy bowl where take no more than two. One. Okay. SCP-5. Um, empty argon. Drop. Bandage. Okay. Candies. So I don't remember what those do, but we will read that later. Wait, could I go up? Two chimes. Anyway, um, if I recall about 983, the monkey, um... Someone, someone feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that it rewards you. I believe that it awards you a different candy based on how well you sing along with it. I believe. Where are the flying? Oh! Oh! Oh, hello! Oh, my sweet, sweet little things. Oh, God, I love you. God, I love those things. Anyway. 313, that was what you guys were? You're amazing. I, God, I didn't know that you would come back, but that's, that's just lovely. That's just lovely. That's, that's almost, almost here be dragons. Almost. Anything? No. Security memo, another one. A uh, large bandage will consume a small bandage? Yep. Well, I didn't need to consume, but I could have just dropped. But that's fine. Anyway. Um, boop, boop, boop. Let me through. 
Uh, save real quick, and good. Continue on. God, I love some of these. The SDP universe is so cool. Like, can I just say that? I think everybody here agrees. You wouldn't be here otherwise, but... SCP, SCP stuff is cool. Okay. Nothing, 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 nothing. I bet there's like a key card in one of... Oh, wow, this is big. Um, I take it back. If there's a key card anyway, it'd be here. I need a flashlight very badly. Hello, papers. Oh, this is so cool looking. Oh, it's a little bit trippy. I don't know why. I don't know why this is hard to look at, but it is. God, what? Oh, I'm going to look away now, actually. Hello. Hello, at me. All right. That's cool. That's all cool. So, staff offices. So, this is for, like, the backers, the Patreon backers, right? Um, and I'm pretty sure I have already learned that there is nothing in here. First aid, I can't even have that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've already learned that there is nothing in here worth having. That these are all literally just aesthetic. And that, that's cool. That This is nice that they've rewarded their backers with this. Because this game is, um... I don't know if it's Patreon. I don't know if it was, like, Kickstarter. I'm not sure what it was, but, you know, whatever, whatever the case... Overpromise, never deliver. Very nice. Oh, that's cute. I guess that's self-drawn art or something. That's neat. But they they got to back this for like financially uh, contributing to or got to back this. They got to have these little rooms added in for them. Oh, you got to upload your own little things. Have these little rooms added in for them. Um, it's kind of a reward for their support of the game. I do not have an office anywhere. Otherwise, that would be actually really cool to try to find. But, anyway. SCP-111. The Flamingos. That's that's neat. How you can just kind of make your own... back. Oh, hi. Anything? No? Yeah. How you can have your own, like, little... Just I assume just simple JPEGs added into the game like that. that that's very... That's very neat. That's very neat. Duster... Uh, anyway. Studly Cowboys. Sure. That's probably what that said. And we leave. <clears throat> I wonder if these little staff offices are safe zones as well. I think I asked that last time, and uh, I don't recall if I got an answer. And if I did, it was probably horrible. But anyway. Is that all that's here? Yeah, damn it. Staff offices don't really seem to have a whole lot going on. I haven't gotten anything useful from any one of them yet. But, you know. They're a nice touch. They're, they're just like a nice little thing added on to reward people for being cool and supporting a nice thing and i respect it i like it even don't blink fair wash dishes whoever left the mug with the milk in and the archives has been disposed of okay okay moving on yep where'd the other one go where's your okay thank fuck i Good God, I don't... For, I was scared for a second that I thought that one had, like, been killed somehow or something. And that's just a stupid illogical fear, because they're just little eyeball pods in a game. But I really like those things. I, I really like those things. Oh, shit, it's been 30 minutes? Fucking hell's fire. Um, sorry, I have occupied a lot of your time getting absolutely nothing done, but... Um... Did we get anything done this episode? We got the iPods this episode, right? Yeah, that was early on. It was. It was. See, see how, see what this game do to me? Anyway, we're back in the core area. I, I guess, yeah, technically we've gotten a shitload done. Um, so all that's, we have explored this entire floor. So all of sub-level, what? Sure, all of, all of this, this one level. All of this one. We have been through, and it looks like there's nothing up. Is there? Is there up? No. So it's only down. Okay. Well. Cool. We did good. I'm proud of you guys. You did very well today. And every other day. But today is special. Today you did real good. But anyway. Have a good night, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.